Hey guys, it's me Chris here, and today we're doing a little video of um, this pretty cool free web hosting website called Zymike, I think it's called. It's free web hosting, and it gives you free PHP, free MySQL, FTP file management, it's ad-free, and you get a free domain name. Now when it says free domain name, that means you don't just get like a .com, that means you're just going to get a domain name, but like .webs, but it's not .webs, it's, like, it's going to be something similar like that. And if you see, actually, I don't know if you guys can really tell, but and in my other video of the seal.nr, the free um, web redirection, if you go to tweakuniverse.seal.nr, it leads you to WordPress. And I also like to thank Chris Perillo for letting me use his theme. I love his theme, so I'm going to be using that. But um, if you look, though, this is not using my other web, my real website, because my real website doesn't enable PHP. So what I did was I took, I made an account for here, and what I did was I put it, I hit it in this redirection. So really, what the real um thing is the is dot zzl dot org. That's the real one. Let me just quickly go back there. So by using these two things, I got to create my free WordPress. And it was I really don't care for a dot com domain. Me dot co dot nr is perfect for me. And um. Yeah, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this stuff. It's pretty cool. It comes with the control panel and everything else. So we'll cr I'll log out right now and I'll create a little account for you. And then I'll probably make another video how to use FileZilla. That's how to that's how to um, upload your files to this website since it's FTP file management. We're gonna click on sign up and let's create a username. Let's create um uh let's just create PHP or something or PH me P M Y S Q L this little thing. Um e email How do you actually I have a different one? This used to be an old one I used to have. Create a password. Actually no, I really don't feel like using that password. And we're gonna put in the code. So it's did I spell it right. Yes, I did. And now we have to go check my email. So we're gonna go check the email, and I'll pause the video once I get to the email. All right. So I found the email, and this is it. As you see, my account username was phpmys. Q, I guess I didn't put the Q in my password is test1234. We're going to activate the account right now. And it's going to bring us, to, now we can log in. So we're going to do phemysq test1234. Log in. You have logged in su successfully. I can't even say that word right. But now this is our little login screen. We can create, now we're going to do is we're going to create a free web host account. We have no web host account. So we're going to click on that. And let's say we want to create, these are the ones you can use. So you can use all these, but then you can look at my other videos. So you can take these URLs and put them into that and short them. So we'll do um, um, well, phpmisql.zxq.net. Or, of course, the longer ones are going to be .com because they don't want people to do that. But we'll just use zzl.org. Sorry, that was my phone. So press continue. It may take a little while. And now we're going to have to enter our password again. Oops. I think I entered it right. Yeah, now it's going to give you all this stuff about you, you can't make porn, porn um, websites, wars website, webcam websites, um, web proxies, key loggers, all these things. And this is actually true. This goes to the FBI. So you really don't want to use this for anything. So you can read these again. You can't even use it for VB Bulletin. I didn't know that. I was probably going to use that. Of course, you can use it for pornography, rapid leech, BitTorrents, um, web proxies, key loggers, null scripts, which is also the same thing as a VB Bulletin null script. There's, there's a difference between VB Bulletin and VB Bulletin null scripts. I might make a video over that and how to find one. And wars and all, the, all these other stuff. So they have to agree to all this to all this stuff. This tells you that you would not break any of these rules. 
and then we have to create put in the the code again oh, my phone's ringing now create web website account now this does take a little while so I'm gonna pause the video and get back to you guys once it's almost done alright so it just finished it says um, your, web your website has been created these are the websites we can either use HTTP and no www or we can use that www it doesn't really matter just go to the same thing so I'll click on that and it's gonna take me you are the website owner and that's all it's gonna say you can change the index and stuff here FTP details if you use FileZilla you, this is your host this is your username and the password is the same password you entered which was mine will be test out one test one two three four I'll make a another video on how to use FTP um and that's really below the various methods um you can connect using this you can do you can follow them on Twitter and they're one of the forms um this is our forms so oh shall check that out later so there you go guys that's how you create a little free Zymac Zymike website and you guys can refer to my other video let's see let's see let's see if I can get to it sorry I can't even seem to talk today go to sign in oops the wrong account that was my old account you guys should you guys should um subscribe to my new ones if you do have Vista School subscribed um you guys can check out my video of the free URL redirection and that all you have to do is sign up and for the URL to re to redirect to just put in the one that you created which will be the one you created so here so there you go guys please um comment and tell me if you actually if I actually helped you and if I helped you create a website I'll make another video how to use FTP so you guys can add files this does in the control panel um you can log into the control panel and you can create MIS MySQL databases and you guys can create a um, username for them and you can um what's the thing change the host for your FTP and stuff but you guys can do that I'm not gonna go over the control panel since it's pretty easy to use so this is a pretty good um, website to create a free web hosting even though you get a little dot something dot org or dot com or dot net it doesn't really matter though but I like it a lot and since I can actually use what WordPress I don't mind using it at all so there you go, guys. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. Hope you enjoyed.